Hello, welcome back. This is part two of a tutorial to make Mickey and Minnie Mouse crochet rattles. If you missed part one, go back and start there. Next, we're going to make the two little mouse ears. Again, we are crocheting in continuous rounds with black yarn. These are made with basically the same steps as the head, but a condensed version. We're going to start off the exact same way by doing six single crochet stitches into a magic circle. For round two, we're going to increase in each stitch with two single crochets, and you should end with 12 stitches. For round three, we're going to increase in the first stitch and single crochet in the second stitch and repeat that all the way around. You should finish with 18 stitches. Round four is not the same as what we did with the head. For this round, you're going to do just a single crochet in all 18 stitches.
For round five, we're going to decrease by crocheting those first two stitches together, and then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around, and you should finish with 12 stitches. For round six, we're going to decrease all the way around and you should finish with six stitches. And finally, we're going to close it off. Again, I'm doing it the same way I did with the head where I keep decreasing and then fasten off, which leaves this little nub here. And later, I'm going to be sewing the tail end through any gaps and flattening down that nub. But I'm also going to be using the tail to sew the ear onto the head. So at this point, you just want to close and fasten off however you want to and leave a nice long tail for sewing. Then you want to repeat that entire process once more to make the second ear. Now we're going to sew the ears to the head. I have a little trick for getting yarn threaded through a darning needle, which is to take the sharp end of your needle and fray the edges of the yarn like this, and then fold the yarn tightly over the needle, push up and slide the needle out, and you should have a nice flat edge that you can push through the eye of the needle and then you can just grab it with your fingers. Works every time. So first things first for me, I'm just sewing around the back of the ear to smooth down the nub that's sticking out and fill in any gaps. You don't have to do it like this, I just like that it gives the ears a bit more structure and stiffness so they stand up straight instead of being floppy. Next I kind of guesstimate where the ear is going to sit and gently pass my needle through just to get an idea. I did that with both ears and I'm feeling pretty good about where they're placed. Some people will just pin them and then sew. That's not really my jam, but please do that if you want to. Then I take the ear off and I can still see where I had it placed. So I put it back on that same spot and then do a nice sturdy weave through the head and the ear. So I kind of zigzag my needle up and down so it catches some of the ear and then some of the head and then some of the ear and some of the head. So you get a good attachment between the two. And then I do that same zigzag again from the other side. So after that, it's looking good and feeling sturdy, but I'm not gonna get rid of that tail just yet. I'm gonna wait until both ears are on there just to be safe in case I have to move anything. Then I repeat that process with the other ear and both ears are looking good. Once you're happy with the placement of your ears, you can hide the tails. I like to stick my needle through the middle of the head and bring the tail out the other side, Pull it tight and cut it nice and close to the head. 
That way when you release it, it just disappears inside the head and you can kind of squish it to regain its shape. Once you do that with both tails, you're ready to move on to the piece that goes around the wooden ring. So now we're going to crochet a rectangle that will wrap around the rattle handle and then we will be sewing the head onto that piece. You're going to start with a slip knot. I do it by twisting the yarn like this, pulling it through and then tightening it onto my hook. Then you're going to chain 12. Once you've chained 12, turn your work and single crochet starting in the second stitch from your hook. You're going to do one single crochet in each stitch, ending with 11 stitches, and then chain one and turn your work once you get to the end of the row. So I'm at my last stitch, I'm gonna chain one and turn. And again, I'm gonna single crochet into each stitch starting in the second stitch from the hook and then chain one and turn at the end. You're going to repeat this for about six rows. The number of rows might vary depending on your tension, your yarn and your hook, but you want to be able to wrap the rectangle around the wooden ring and sew it with a pretty snug fit. You don't want it sliding around too much. So check the size of it as you go. You can pause the video here and do your six rows or however many it takes, and then you can meet me back here when you're done. Welcome back. This is what my rectangle looks like after six rows. And as you can see, when I wrap it around my wooden ring, it's a nice snug fit. So I'm going to cut my yarn and fasten off the tail. And you wanna keep one of the tails for sewing, but the other one can be woven into the rectangle. I'm doing my fray trick again and then weaving it through the middle of one of my rows. Pull it tight, cut off the tail, and it will disappear inside the rectangle. Then you want to use the other tail to sew the two long edges of the rectangle around the wooden ring. I find it easiest to have the two edges right along the top, and then I don't do anything fancy to sew it, I just pass my needle from right to left all the way along the two edges and sew it up snugly. Once I'm done, I weave the tail through the middle, pull it tight, and cut it so it disappears inside. And once all of that is done, you're ready to sew Mickey onto the handle. I already weaved in my tail from the head, but if you haven't yet, you can use that to sew it onto the handle. I just cut a long piece of black yarn, stuck it through the head until the tail disappeared, and then did a loop at the bottom to secure it. and then sewed it to the piece around the wooden ring, weaving up and down like I did with the ears. You want this to be pretty secure, so make sure you go back and forth a few times in slightly different places so you get a solid connection between the two. Then stick your tail through the head, pull it tight, cut it, and it will disappear inside. If you're making a Mickey Mouse, that's it, you're all finished. If you want to turn it into a Minnie Mouse, keep watching and we will make a bow together. The bow is pretty simple, it's just a rectangle with a rounded border wrapped up in the middle. 
Start with whatever color yarn you want to make your bow and we're going to chain 13. Then, just like the section around the wooden ring, we're going to single crochet in each stitch, starting at the second chain from the hook, and then chain one once you get to the end of the row and turn your work. There's my last stitch, so I'm going to chain one and turn. And you're going to repeat that for a total of six rows. You can pause the video here and meet me back once you've finished your six rows. Welcome back, your rectangle should look something like this. Now we're going to just single crochet a border around the rectangle to round out those pointy edges. First, I'm just going to weave in my shorter tail from the start of the bow. And then once that's all weaved in, you can start single crocheting around the edges. Sometimes it can be hard to figure out where to put your hook. It doesn't really need to be perfect, just stick it in whatever space you can find and single crochet. When you get to each corner, do two single crochets in that space, which is what will round out the corner, and then continue to single crochet around the rest of the edge. When you're done, it should look like this. Then you want to fasten off your last stitch and leave a nice long tail. Next, do an accordion fold in the middle of your rectangle and then weave the tail through to come out at the center of your bow. And use that tail to sew the folds in place. Once your folds are secure, wrap the tail around the middle section as many times as you want until you're happy with the way that it looks. Once you're happy with that middle section, you can secure the tail through the back side and then weave it in. All that's left to do is sew the bow onto your mouse head. I just cut some more black yarn and did tiny stitches all the way across the bottom of the bow, securing it just in front of the ears. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This was my first crochet tutorial, so I'd love to hear your feedback and if it's something you wanna see more of. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see next. If you make a rattle, I would love to see it, so please tag me in your photos on social media. See you later.